What's up guys, it's are back here, and we are jumping back into some Slay the Spire Downfall. Except I did not click that, I clicked the wrong one. Last time we, 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 we looped back around with the Slime Boss, I think we're going to go one more loop through. Um, and try to get everyone to Ascension Level 1, and then we'll uh, try to start leveling everyone evenly. Um, this time we're doing the Guardian. Uh, we have, hadn't played Luna, I think he had some of his... Yeah, Star Return Brace 2, yeah. He had some of his mechanics reworked. Um, and I think the, the most, re not the most recent, but one of the patches uh, around the time they put out the Automaton, or like right after they put him out, uh, because Brace is new. We'll have to look into that. Uh, bronze Gear, at the start of your turn, Brace 2. It used to be, um, I remember what the item looked like. I don't remember the name. So it was like the, the controller where it had two levers. Um, so that was changed, so we need to see how that is different going into here. So let's embark here. All right, let's look, see. Ooh, they've added some new new little emblems to the top of the cards. I don't know if that has any like different synergy. Uh, still have the curl up and the twin slam, um, but curl up has been changed. Uh, so brace, reduce the max HP loss required to trigger mode shift by X. Uh, mode shift if the HP loss required is now zero. Okay, I don't know what mode the mode shift is. So I guess after, so you, you'll brace ten, and then when you've taken, uh, reduce the uh, the required to trigger mode shift by X. So by ten. Uh, so I guess you start start turn brace two. So I guess you start with a certain amount of HP you have to lose to go into defensive mode. Uh, but it doesn't tell you what that HP loss is. So this plus the bronze gear reduces that number, so you can go into defensive mode more off, uh, more often. And then this one's if in defensive mode, gain ten more. Okay. And then when you when you enter gain ten more when entering. So when you also when you enter defensive mode, you also gain ten. So this would give you if you're in it already, you would have more block. And I don't know if you lose. You get out of defensive mode, or if uh, turn and get out of the start of your turn, and your block does not expire. Okay, so it looks like you stay in defensive mode. I think you used to leave it, and there might be different cards that get you out of defensive mode. Okay, nice note. It might take us a little bit of tweaking to remember all that, or at least me. You guys get to watch me uh, mess up a bunch. Okay, let's look at the map. Oh, early shop. A lot of extra souls. Uh, and we could get rid of the curse immediately. I kind of want rest. I've been going really aggressive on the way I've been playing, um, which has led to us dying a lot. Light shop there, okay. So I see a three, there's a two with a mid shop. Early elite though, but you get we'll get four card picks before then. Eh, not a lot of question marks though. We could do four question marks here shop, I mean, uh, rest, and then go this way, hit this emerald elite, and then this late game shop to remove a curse. Not the worst. I just hate, uh, it, it suck it like early. Let's see what the curse is, and then we can alter our pack. Normality. Uh, when in hand, you can't play more than three cards this turn. That's kind of okay currently, but if we get a bunch of uh, gems, it's gonna suck. Okay, I think I still will go the question mark path. Hopefully we won't get a lot of fights. I think the only thing that's going to suck is this elite. Um, because we still will, we could still have the normality. Uh, okay, I want to go ahead and smith the twin slams. Actually, let's go ahead and recall the key. Because what we'll do is on the next rest, we'll smith the twin slams here. Um, and then we'll have the extra point of strength also. Because we should have the souls for that. I like that plan. That'll give us a pretty good heavy hitting card to start with. And if we are able to socket something into it, um, it could be even better. Okay, and here's that mode shift. So uh, when you lose it, uh, when we lose 10 HP, we go into defensive mode. And I think it started at 18. So the the trick would be go 10 here. Yeah, no, it starts at 30, and we lose two at the start of the turn. Okay. So we go into here, might as well defend more, because the defense is not lost. 
and we come out of defensive mode and keep all the defense. Okay. I get it. I get it. But we lose it now. So I'll, even though I play that defend, we lose it. Correct. Okay. Um, I can't. I can't defend defense and not brace 10. We're not going to enter defensive mode. So playing the curl up actually doesn't help us get to it. Uh, I can't kill him, unfortunately, so I'm going to take damage. So, I think the correct move is this. Alright. And then we're going to hit him. Okay. That wasn't too bad. I'm trying to figure out the new mechanics here. Garnet's pretty good. Um, but it does not work well with normality. we got to keep that in mind. I place this card into stasis. Brace 2, then gain 8 luck and 1 energy. Okay, and it's volatile, so when it leaves stasis, exhaust it. So, it'll be in stasis for three turns, I think. Because it's one plus whatever the cost is. Correct. Um, let me try to see. It's up at the top, I cannot. Oh, right, right here. Yeah, one plus its cost. So, we would be getting... Uh, we would be getting eight block, remove two brace, and one energy for shield charger. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> uh, I think it's going to be better just to go with Garnet here. Just for the added vulnerability later. They did not smith. Um, for the added vulnerability, and if we don't have it with no normality, it's not bad. Ooh, find loot. Harvest the souls. Uh, find loot. Okay, I think I'm going to be happy with that. I don't really want to fight an elite here. Because I don't think we get anything additionally. Yeah, let, let, let's head out. I'll, I'll exit without sound. That's fine. All right, yep, and that's good because yeah, now we got Bag of Marbles for vulnerability on turn one, which works fairly well with our, tr our Twin Slams here. Oh, upgrade three random cards. Good fall. At the end of your turn, transform all cards in your hand into random status cards. That's kind of gross. But up three upgrades is pretty nice. Twin Slam and two defense. Okay. Not too sad. Find some potions. Um, power potion and cultist potion can help us get out of a pickle. Uh, actually, I think I'd rather have the weakness than the swift. Alright, right here. Chest, bottle lightning. Put a skill in our opening hand. Is there any skills I would want to start with? Not really, if I'm being honest. I think I'll take this FR key here. Because I actually, going to here, can break the ruby, break the sapphire, gain the max HP here. Um, is this a free, free action? Yep. Let's place vulnerability into twin slam. Pretty good. And then we can smith curl up, I guess. Not too bad. We don't even need to rest. Very productive. Uh, very productive there. So, okay. Normality here. This is good. Um, they're vulnerable this turn, which is nice. Now, I don't remember for when you socket a card. I think the vulnerability is applied afterwards, which sucks a little bit more for the twin slam. Uh, we can play flawed out too, which is nice. So play out the flawed twin slam, kills him, and then we will hit this little slime. All right. So I kind of want to find cards that work with strength and vul vulnerability, I guess. Place uh, the next non-exhausting card, attack or skill. You play this turn into stasis. Okay. A lot of stasis cards. I kind of like reroute. We can bring something back we really want into the next turn. So, we'll try that. Because currently our Twin Slam is really the, the big card we want to use it, right? So it would be... Reroute for 15, killing you. Twin Slam for 20, and then it would be put in stasis. That's pretty good. Uh, nope. Fragment of Gem. Gem, add a crystal shift to your hand. Shield spikes. Decks and gain four temporary thorns if in defense mode. Otherwise, brace eight. It's hard to take these ones because you have to get down into defensive mode, which is hard. That's pretty good. But I think fragmented gems works better with the strength we have. Plus, if we put it into our twin strike, um, it adds another strike that we can take advantage from the vulnerability we're adding. But I, I, I'm, I'm pretty hyper aware currently that we are, uh, we're going to play it like this. Oh, we could have got the normality out, though. Um, I'm not too worried about it. Um, that we are kind of lacking in terms of defensive options. 
Um, I'm going to deck you pretty hard. Your damage now, we have plenty of block. Get the shiv, hit him again, hit him again. And then we're gonna defend here because we'll keep whatever's left over. Okay, hits himself, not too worried. Oh, okay. Lots of damage this hand. I think it's more, oh, it's almost enough. Pretty close to enough, but uh, yeah. I said, we should get a card. Oh, another cultist potion. That's, that's good. I think I'll take it over the week. We might need it. Um, accelerate, interesting. Repulsor, uh, I don't think we're gonna be adding. Oh, we have two curses right now. Gets down to one. Could be really good. I don't, if we intend to put more statuses or curses in the deck. Uh, Amber. Oh yeah, these don't upgrade. Could be good. We can accelerate it if we're rerouting things into stasis. Be the time to take it now. I mean, it's early enough. But I don't think I have any other cards I get. Yeah, well, this has a socket. So we could Amber. Well, the problem with putting it here is if we accelerate... It accelerates after we put it. Well, yeah, it's after we put a card into there. So this would come back in one turn. I talked myself into it. I don't know if it's the right move, honestly. But okay, this is a weird hand. Um, I could remove some of our brace here. Brace 13. Twin slam. And then hit him. Pretty, pretty good. Um, Logavulin. And he has two additional strengths for being the Emerald Elite. Eight metallicize. Yeah, that's kind of gross. And it's not plate armor, so I can't. It's gonna be every turn. I think we want the cultic version here. And I think I will do this and hold. Get a little bit of strength here. Get this out of the deck. Hold another turn. Um, accelerate. Okay. So the play would be here. Let's wake him up this turn. We should be cycling, hopefully, around the Twin Slam next. Reroute, strike, accelerate the strike, and then we'll have a pretty offensive hand next turn. Yep, because we get the strike back. Oh, but we also got the stinking normality. It is not very good for us here. I can play one more card. I've played two, so defend for one. Okay, not, not too much damage. Actually, that kind of worked partially in our favor. He is still hitting us very hard. Reroute, the strike. Uh, do I want to curl up at this point? I don't gain the block. But he's putting me in there. Ah, uh, yeah, that's not going to help us. Normal defend. Yeah, this fight was not too bad. So we'll accelerate, strike, strike, done. Question card, actually very good here to start with. Additional cards to choose from help us to find our deck better. And we have all the keys on the first turn. Must be in defensive mode. Gate to a block, two thorns. What's it go down to? Uh, we're still not in there. Gain two block for each gem in this card. Uh, I don't think any of these are what we want currently. Like we're not going into defensive mode enough to uh, warrant that currently. Lose a strike. How about that? All right, shopkeep. How you doing, dude? Uh, flawed out early. I like. Flawed hasn't been a problem for us. Like out of everything we could have done, uh, this one kind of sucks. I can't get to bracing, so no reason to do that. Jim shiv. Amber's kind of terrible here. Um, might as well play it. We might go into defensive mode actually. Soon. No, he does all his attacks before you enter. Okay. Uh, this is a weird one. Yeah, no, this is the right move, though. Reroute, Twin Slam, Amber, and that's it. Because now we'll get Twin Slam back. Sucks the vulnerability's gone, though. So, Twin Slam, Fragmented Gem, Crystalline Shiv, Strike. That's not too bad. 50 damage. Could be worse. Okay. And we have 250, that's not too bad. Crystal Ray. Increases damage by the two for all socketed gems. Puts a card in your hand into stasis, not bad. We have like this weird like mixed stasis kind of stasis uh, high like attack kind of things with like sockets to round it out. So I don't think we'll get enough sockets to warrant Crystal Ray currently. 
if it did multiple hits for each one, I'd be more like happy to take it. But currently, I think we have two, so it'll do 14, da 14 damage for uh, two energy. I think Temporal Strike's a little better because uh, I think we're going to continue putting cards into Stasis. And it has another socket slot um, that could be useful later. Ooh, Apotheosis, pretty good. First, Normality, get out of here. Okay, we still can get that. You can find the turn while in defense mode. Brace 10. So brace 10 so you can get into defense mode. Prismatic Spray is kind of one of the cards we could be looking for. It's pretty good. But we can't get Apotheosis if we do that. But our deck's kind of kind of upgraded at this point. Like these two go in cards. Temporal Strike and Reroute aren't, but at the same time, do we, we need this currently? Is there other things I'd rather take? Like Oddly Smooth Stone's pretty good. Temporal Shield's pretty good. Another reroute's actually fine. Like I'd be happy with like this suite of cards. Kind of rounds out our deck more, adds more stasis like we want to use the uh, Temporal Shield. Um, this gives us some draw. Additionally, this will like inherently just be better than our normal strikes and defends. And Prismatic Spray kind of warrants um, the fact that we are adding more gems to the deck. It's a weird move, but I'm going to take it. I don't know if it's the correct move. This turn's going to suck. I can already see. Okay. Um, the next card we put in the stasis. That's going to be a weird one. If you have a card in stasis. Okay. So I need to do 15 to you. You're dead. Put a card into stasis, which will be strike. Deal six damage and gain an energy. Nine damage, you're also dead. Gain that energy. Okay, and we take no damage here. All right, strikes back. Twin slams, okay, here's gonna be another good turn. Um, actually, reroutes first, then twin slam for 14. Card in stasis. We can draw a card. Yeah, that's fine. I don't know, what, it, there was no difference. The card draws are a weird choice for that. Uh, I think there's other things we could be doing uh, than drawing the card, but it's just some benefit for having card in stasis. And with the amount of reroutes we're using, um, it makes sense. Quartz, just draw a card, it's very good. Uh, place a century wave, apply one week, place a century blast into stasis. Okay, so you can just like cycle them back and forth. I kind of like that. Adding weak, adding, doing brace. Seven damage for zero. I like that a lot, actually. Orb support. Uh, place the running card from your draw pile into stasis. Five damage again, five blocks. These are actually both very good. Quartz is also good. I don't think we put cards into stasis currently enough. Because um, in this one's also volatile. I think I like the Sentry Blast. Because just having some access to weak in the deck would be nice. And again, it, it, it puts a card in stasis. This card kind of sucks right now. Okay. Oh, and also, I didn't mention this last time because I didn't really realize it the last like set of recordings. They changed some of how the, uh, the bosses work. So this one, they actually have now Bag of Knives. Um, whenever you play a zero cost card, if the silent has less than seven cards in hand, uh, she gains a ship, and that's warranted right here. So, I think this says that they're giving the silent a ship. Kind of fine with that currently. Alright, uh, we'll hit them with a strike. And then two defense. Prismatic Sprite is terrible here. Okay. Ooh, not really the turn I wanted to see here. Uh, let's reroute the strike. Well, and, oh, uh, do I really need this accelerated? No, I don't. And Flaw is gonna burn out the Amber, and that gives me a burn, yeah, it kinda sucks, but. Not the worst, okay, <sighs> Sentry Blast is not good here. Hit you, we need more defense. This will get almost enough, which sucks. Uh, this is fine. Sentry Blast into here, you gain another Shiv. Um, and it's just play these two and hit ya. I still haven't decided if it's right to play the attack potion. The fact that we get curl up, oh, and it lasts another turn. It's actually really good because they're gonna, well, not this turn because they're not hitting us a bunch. Um, but normally it'd be very good. Reroute, 
Twin slams. Get that back up there. Sentry wave puts another blast up here. Hit you with a strike. Keep getting your shivs up. I'm fine with it. Draw that card. Oh, we drew temporal strike. I actually kind of want them to hit me to take more damage. At least in that exact moment I did. Oh, this turn kind of stinks. Um, the next card I play is going to put a copy up here. Actually, does this work to give two copies of it? No, just, just the one. It exhaust. Oh, it's the next non-exhaustible card. Right? Yeah. I guess it's the defend and defend here. Um, I don't need to play another uh, strike here. That's good. Well, I guess I could have played one and gave him another shift. But that gave him more from Shuriken. So, correct move. All right. Um, twin Slam here, zero. Actually, not great. But at the same time, I don't have a lot of choice to give them the shift. That's kind of the point of the deck. Um, gosh, if I give them another shift, though, they get a point of strength, which I don't want. Eh. Block. Uh, curl up's fine. Kind of prepare for another turn. But I kind of want them weak. They'll do less damage, and they're not going to hit us, actually. Fine. Uh, actually, they might still hit us. I think it's the exact same amount of damage, except they get the strength. Okay, well. Another crappy turn. Sensory Blast. Uh, for the shield, I kind of wanted more defensive. Not really what I wanted. Temporal Strike. Give us another one to play another defend. Um, well, they're doing seven each. He's going to put me into defensive mode. So do I want... I don't want to give another ship, though. That's going to suck. Defensive mode. And he hurts himself. The, the, the switching mode is really helping us currently. Reroute, the defend, hit him. We're just not hitting him quite quick enough. Um, like the cultist potion would have made a lot of sense. It's a little late now for it though. But do I think I can get out of the stuff? Let's drink the power potion. Uh, at the end of your turn while in defense mode, brace 10. Um, You're trying to accelerate. That gives us more zero cost card, but not great. I give him another stupid chip. Okay, this is the current turn to curl up. That's fine. Gain the defense. Hit you. Do that. Copy up here. Okay, down to 53. He's going to hurt himself a lot this turn. Or she is. But we do not benefit really from uh, the defensive mode much. Uh, because we lost all that shield. Dang, they are hurting us. Ow. 30 damage coming in? I think that would kill us. I really would love to have weakened them. I really don't want to play either one of these. This actually would have made more sense to play. Draw another card. 40 damage coming in. We are just shy of not dying. Yeah, I think I play, if I play any of the zero cost, I'm dead. We are not in defensive mode, which also sucks. I really need to try to kill them this turn, which I cannot. 33 damage coming in. I think I screwed it up by not using the Cultist Potion. I think we would have been fine if we did. Because I can block for 15 out of the 33. We're at 2. Yep. And that is all she wrote. We will try another one. I feel like I always have to lose the first round I go into to uh, ever come back. Like, to end up getting a win. I feel like that, that's how they went for a while here. Alright, Construct one more time. Or the Guardian. I keep calling him the Construct, which is not correct. Um, transform two cards. Do we go Spice? Let's do this to define what we're doing here. Prismatic Barrier and Floating Orbs. Okay, I like Floating Orbs a lot. Works really well with Strength. Um, and then the, the, uh, prismatic barrier works very well with sockets. We need to figure out where we're going though. Elite, actually, three elite path, pretty good. No rest <laughs> at all. Okay, here's a rest here, 
two elites back to back, three elites, shop, two shops, one shop. Okay, that's nicer. Gives us at least a rest somewhere. I think I will go ahead and recall again. Uh, just because the fact that I'm going to want the strength of the ore barriers. Okay. Is it, or the ore barrage, as it would be. The floating ore. Orb slams. I was close. Not really, but I was. Orb slam, because yeah, this is 2-2. Two, two, so it increases better with strength. Um, 13, that doesn't help me. However, our deck right now is not as offensive as we'd really want. Especially going up against the amount of elites we're planning to go up against. Um, I should have done that differently. We will take seven because of that. If I would have played both strikes, we would uh, just won. Taking no additional damage there. Okay, piercing high, brace three sockets. Nine block and three temporary floors. Kind of like that to set up our defensive orb slams and just hit them over and over. In defense mode, affects all creatures, otherwise brace eight. Rolling attacks also pretty good. I think I'll take piercing hide to start with though. Maybe build a little bit more defensively than we did last time. Okay. I'll just hit both of you and go ahead and uh, knock off that curl up. Seems pretty good. Uh, floating orbs is just good here. I guess I could have killed them instead of defending twice. Get too ahead of yourself, and then you, I could have done that. <laughs> oh, this was, okay. Uh, Century Blast, I still like. Got us killed last time, though. Who's our boss at the end? Is it Silent again? No, it's Ironclad. So it's not as bad this time. It's another zero cost that you cycle its weakness and damage. Crystal Shiv is good, though, because we need to fill up the Prismatic Barrier. I'll take that. Our Fragmented. Uh... Fragmented Gym, Curse of Regret, uh, right before a shop. Yeah, totally. I think I meant to go, oh, we are still going this way. We don't want the second shop in a row. Hello, sir. Of course, nice hand of regret. How, how, how you do, hit me once. Ah, that actually counts towards that. Piercing High, this is the turn I wanted it. Uh, okay, I don't know how much damage we're gonna really do to the shopkeeper here. But we got 400 going in. Okay. Ooh, not a fun hand for regret again. Twin slams, uh, curl up, I guess. I could have played and took one less damage here. Alright. Hit ya, hit ya. Not the best, not the worst. Okay. Add a card clone. No. Copy that card into stasis exhaust. I don't think. These are all for a stasis build. I don't think we're going that route currently. Another floating orbs. Actually, I'm kind of kind of hyped about. Let's see also though. Sorry, I was confused. I had lost my phone. And we are going to look just as a random side tangent while we sit here and look. Um, we're, we're currently, me and my wife are looking at houses. Um, so I was trying to double check um, what time we had to leave and such. Exit defensive mode. That's pretty good for what we're thinking. We're doing like a defensive mode guardian world. Maybe floating orbs to supplement. They love strength gate together. We could take them both and something like a three regen. Regen can go to negative one, so it can start hurting you if you don't end the fight fast. We're too slow currently for that. Be good, but not right now. I think tiny chest would be good. Every fourth question mark, is, it's just like extra question marks. Enhanced ability is pretty good to give us strength. Uh, six turns deal six damage to a random enemy six times. Kind of fits, but not exactly. I think I want Guardian World. I think I want Floating Orbs. And I think I want Tiny Chest. That does not allow us to break. Oh, uh, we might. It'd be well. It'll be a little closer. I forgot we needed enough to break the gym. So I'm gonna keep that in mind. Um, do that. Putting <clears throat> Earl curl up. He's gonna put us into defensive mode. 
Okay, another floating orbs. Hit him a bunch. Twin slam. Gem. Hit him a bunch. Hit him a bunch. Okay. So this is the kind of thing we want. I'm not... We need more things to put us into defensive mode. Because if not, Guardian World is a dead card. If we can't. Alright. Also, enemies with thorns are going to be our kryptonite. Because we do a lot of attacks. Okay, Ruby, actually pretty good. Brace 10 though and Bronze Armor with Artifacting. These two go really good together. This one's uncommon. And I just said we need more ways to get into defensive mode. I think we'll see more Rubies. Darkstone Periat, not what we want. Sapphire Key though, is fine. All right. Hello, sir and or madam. Okay, yeah, floating orbs is gonna be better. We're not gonna finish this fight that quickly. Hit me, please. Ooh, we are in. Uh, and we enter, we exit defensive mode, but we keep all of the block. Totally fine, right? Yes. So the, the downside is we will not retain the um, block till next turn. But I don't think we were really worried about that. Yeah, that's the difference. Okay. Um, hit you again. I'm super close. Not close enough. And I cannot get to, um, defensive mode. So we will bronze armor and we will defend. Close but no cigar. But the artifacting was nice. Okay, we are taking a lot of damage. Another piercing hide's good. I think that's what we want. Alright, elite. Oh, you guys suck. Well, you're good with, okay with guardian world. This hand, though, also sucks. Ah, it's not that. Overreacting. All right. That prismatic barrier is kind of a dead draw currently. We still haven't put nothing into it. Mm, floating orbs is fine. Piercing hide is good. We'll take just a little bit of damage. Okay. Floating orbs. Hit you again. I could curl up here with bron and then also with bronze armor or curl up. I could gain a bunch. Yeah, let's do this and then curl up to gain extra block for next turn. Which was the correct move, yes. Okay. Hit you a bunch, hit you a bunch, do this. And we keep the thorns because we had the artifacting. Um, I'm trying to think, 20, they're doing 18. You're going to take two back. I'm going to assume I can start on the middle line, too. Hopefully my next hand is not, like, dead. Okay. Well, it's never, like, super dead. Um, orb slams. Uh, so I'm going to take four. Anyway, I, like, cut it. Okay. I'm going to hit you some more. You will... Let's go ahead and kill you, actually. And continue to hit you. I'm gonna take four, kind of any, any way I cut it, so. Piercing Hide. I cannot go into Guardian, uh, but I can block for plenty. Alright, Guardian World, good try. You would have been good, but we didn't get to cast you at all. Alright. You can just barely die. And I hit you twice. Block. Right. So we will go into this next... Actually, let's go ahead and curl up. Piercing hide. And then we'll hit you. You'll hit yourself. Carry over a little bit of block, which won't end up mattering. Okay. <laughs> Bad turn, but I think we just eat it out. Yep. Or Calcum. Very good. In turn without block, gain six block. It might have some, like, anti-synergy with some of the cards we have in here, because... And maybe if we like enter defensive mode, it's kind of not as good, but well, will end it. Gain four thorns while in defensive mode. It's not bad. Brace 10 too, it's kind of nice. We are in defensive mode a pretty good bit. I don't really like, priming shot's okay, but I think I'd rather have spike protocol. All right, let's go ahead and break. We can only break one of these. Let's enhance first. Fragment gem needs to go, oh, there's so many cards. Honestly, Pr Prismatic Barrier, I think, should come out. 
No, I think I'd rather have this in twenty seven. Um, and I think the ten max HP would keep me from resting. I think and be okay. I could upgrade stuff like what do you upgrade to? Floating orbs be zero is kind of nice. Hmm. When you get more block, I'm pro. Oh. We have at least one more elite, if not two, depending on which way we go. We could rest here though. So we just have to make it through one elite. If it's what, Gremlin Knob, we're SOL. I think I'd rather have the strength. And then I think I will still smith. Guardian Whirl, we can't consistently do that. Curl ups, not bad. You get more, you don't get more brace, but you're okay. I think I'll go with floating orbs. Make it cost a little less and not as hard to play. Approach, oh, here we go. Um, upgrade a card, one of 10 cards. Let's just gain the card upgrade on the other floating orbs. It's kind of nice. Allow us to try to block more where we try playing out those powers. It is Gremlin Knob, so this does suck. Um, hello, sir. Nice to meet you. Um, we might be using, well, Orc Alchem is also going to help with us a lot, though. And the Guardian, like, I can curl up here with Spike Protocol, and I can Guardian Whirl. Okay, this is actually a pretty good turn for this. Um, which way works more? I don't want to play more skills, though. So, curl up. I know, you hate me now. Um, I can play one of these two. This gives me a Crystal Shiv. This one puts me out of defensive mode, but I'm still not fully blocked. I'd save some block if I play this one and take less damage. No, I probably I'll break even. So I just want more damage here. So 20 here and 15 here. So this is the correct move. Or I could do both of them and just use the energy potion. I could do all of it, and I'd get to keep the spikes from gar uh, from piercing hide because I have artifacting. Guardian world first. I think I will do all of it. Just to get ahead of him here. Because the extra, it's only a, a little bit extra damage, but at the same time, it could matter a lot. Um, brace only three here. So let's strike you and take the 10 to go into defensive mode for next turn. Oh, we're not gonna take that much. Definitely the correct move. These do six, they do so much more damage now. You're dead, dude. Okay, I think that was the right call. Fun fungus, if you have love for energy, Heal that much HP at the start of your next turn. Okay, not bad. Five buckets in your turn while in defensive mode. Accelerate, no. Walker Claw, faint. Uh, strength affects us two times. We don't have enough strength yet. Three times. Um, so it would be, for the one strength we have, be 21 for two. Armor protocol, how much do you give different? Eight. I wish you gave more brace. would be the better thing. Eight additional block, though. It's kind of nice. I am going to rest here for the for this elite fight and for the boss. All right, now that you guys again. Hi, I don't like you. I don't want to be friends. Um, Eleven coming in. We only need eight. This works. Hi, how's it going? Ten. We're still taking damage though. Uh, I can have four left over for next turn, which could matter a little bit. Only we got Guardian World. Oh, we get 14, actually. Floating Orbs is good here. Brace with the 10 here. The high here brings us down even farther. We're taking nothing if I do this. It will take one, which is fine. I need to hit people. Hit you. Okay. All right. Orb Slam, Guardian World. I don't think I can get to I can get to it. Armored Protocol. Floating Orbs. Orb Slam, Guardian Whirl, worked out very beautifully, and then one here. We take one more damage, but I think we get out of this fight. Not bad, actually. Um, I cannot get into Guardian mode. Hit you, Piercing High, Defend, hit you again. And Prismatic Barrier does nothing. Play it for the fun of it. Yep, the Orb Slams, very nice. Okay, uh, we're, we're, we're rounded out. Or right, Calcum, for the next two curses you obtain, you do not. That's not the way you, right way you say that, but I just didn't. Accelerate is not none of these. Temporary decks is fine, but I don't have anything to put it in. No, I think we'll skip here.
Because I'm, I'm planning to take out the prismatic barrier. 18, I can get down 6. 16, yep, I can't. Uh, but I should still defend for both of these. And then hit one. Can't Guardian World, but this should hurt them a lot anyway. Down to 10, Spiker Protocol, a bunch of you are dead. Kill you in the back. Shiv this one, and curl up again for just more block. That will roll over. And then one strike should do it. I think the only downside I'm seeing right now, uh, I don't think we get enough yet. It's not quite ready. Um, can I buy a place from, no. Another piercing hides? I think we have enough of these currently. Yeah, I think we'll skip. I'm trying to run a thinner deck. I think the only thing we have now is till we get, which we'll kind of see this turn, till we get floating orb kind of out, our damage is not the best. Oh, let's look at this. Whenever I hit drainage, a status, put a duplicate added into my discard pile. So when he generates statuses, it's bad for us. It's gonna make us vulnerable. Nothing I can really do about it. Piercing high, definitely. Do I? I think I'll curl up and hopes for Guardian World next turn. Did not get it. Do I want the artifacting already? I don't think it really helps me as much. I think I'd rather defend. Well, the, this does put me in. Actually, I do. Go in the Guardian mode, and then we'll do that. Take less damage here. So I'm thinking. And we have more damage. I mean, more block this turn. Not really the turn I'd want. I could get into Guardian World range. I think that's the, the plan. Do this, get into here, Guardian World to get out of it. And there has to be a uh, card that we can use to constantly get more brace than just the bronze bronze gear. Because it just feels so much slower than we'd really like. Ew, 21 damage coming in is going to suck. We're just going to have to... Brace and take it. Not much we can do here. Ouch. Kind of hurt. Uh, 20. Yeah. Because without the powers, curl up does a little bit, but it's only half of like the amount we really need to consistently uh, get to where we want. Uh, he's going to exhaust some cards. I'm not. <laughs> so he's yeah, going to get the wounds out. And my deck is full of so many wounds. Okay, do that. Do this, do this, take no damage here, and heal a little bit. Is it, I think, is that region I get? This is heal the leftover, huh. Okay, um, orb slams for damage. Do I have minus one strength? I just don't feel like they're doing as much. Oh, I'm weak right now, that makes sense. I wish I could just exhaust that. Oh gosh, more wounds, okay. Guardian World, can I, I can't get there this time. And he's doing so much damage. Okay. Um, I mean, I'm gonna block as much. Oh, I have 40 block here though. I didn't even realize that. So, he's gonna keep hurting himself. Uh, that's all I can do, really. And then, yep, he's going to exhaust a bunch of stuff and heal a bunch of, get the slime out of here at least. All right, we're, we're gonna get him. Even if I have to explosive potion, um, I think we'll get him. I'd like to not use the potion if I don't have to. At the same time, I think I will have to. I could let him kill himself. Yeah, I think we're fine. Double block. He'll hit us one more time, but he kills himself. Yep. Okay, revenge protocol. One defense mode, raise your strength by two. Brace 10. Raise your strength. Do I just get plus two strength while in defensive mode? Okay. Gain an energy with Citrine or gain one artifact with Onyx. Citrine's pretty good. Revenge Protocol call gives us that strength, and it's three strength. And more Brace 10. It's just... For Glass Cannon. Oh, I'd love an upgraded gear. I don't know if they even make... They don't even know if they make one. Slaver's Collar. It's either Slaver's Collar or Terracotta Horse. I don't think we're hurting that much on energy. It'd be really good in boss fights. Merchant, boss and elite. We'll try Slaver's Collar here. Not what I wanted really, but it is what I have currently. Okay, elites and rests are kind of the things I need. Rest down there. Ooh, there's a lot of elites back to back to back. Which is good, but also bad. I like this rest sandwich here. As I'm going to be calling it. Um, another elite here. 
three elites. I mean, if we die, we, we, we ran a good fight. Um, break both these keys is also pretty good. 100, 100. We don't have an early a shop, right? No. Let's we'll avoid the shop. Let's go ahead and do both of these. Get the max. I, I like the max HP a lot in this case. Um, it helps, I think. And gosh, I need more. I think curl up. Just the more brace, honestly, is kind of what we need. We're kind of building more into a defensive build than I planned for us to. But I'm kind of, I'm kind of feeling it. Armor protocol, spike protocol, in defensive mode. Curl up for more defense. Hit us if you dare. Because, yeah, you're going to kill yourselves. And you're done. <laughs> okay. And building up more spike, I think, would help. Uh, we'll drop one of the decks of power. None of these. At this junction. Okay. Ten coming in. Do this, do this, do this. The only downside is you can't stack up um, defensive modes. Like you come out of it on the next turn. Okay, I can get back into defensive mode. I don't know what that, that doesn't really do much for me though, besides give me more block, which I don't currently need. I think I'd rather hold it. And yeah, heal. All right, we're getting orb slams now. So that helps us with the damage we're needing to provide back. Okay. Nice. Not being able to hit us again. And then now that we have orb slams, I can really like get in with damage. Huh, 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 huh. This only braces three, unfortunately. Okay, ship him. Block, piercing hide. Like we're not taking damage, which is good. I still don't know how sustainable this is. And as good as Guardian World is, I can't like continuously use it as much as I would like to. I mean, most of the damage is being supplied to the fact that he's hitting himself. Armor here, piercing hide, and okay. More damage, and then keep slapping. Twin strike. Okay. Yep. Best defense is a good offense in some cases. Game one dexterity and one artifact. Add a random power to your hand exhaust. This is kind of cool. Cost one less. I actually like this a lot. One more artifacting is really good for us. Secondly, the random powers, a lot of the powers seem for the guardian to give more brace, which we need. I'm taking that. Five max HP or for 21. I don't really want that currently. It does not sound very good for us. Ooh, anchor. First turn of combat, gain 10 block. Very good for us. And we're going for, yeah, the standards right here. All right, we're on the elite train. Ooh, you're gonna not like us. Armor protocol. And then I'm going to, do I want a bronze armor here? Sure. Go ahead and get the, uh, Additional thorns to start with. Yep. Keep hitting me. See if you enjoy it. Oh, do I curl up now? I think I do both these, yes. Need to power. Oh, construction form. Gain two buffer. Um, which buffer? Oh, yeah. Start of your turn. If you have buffer, gain one strain. Interesting. Um, we are totally fine still, though. Uh, hide armor. Guardian world. Piercing hide. Okay. Alright, now we can start doing more of that. You are hitting us this turn. Surprisingly. That's fine. Two, re two region. Oh no, it's just two. It's not, not actual region. This is a bad, another bad turn. Hit you a bunch. No reason to play the defend. Well, it's seven instead of six. Uh, well, yep, I guess so. Yep. <laughs> I wish it kicked in halfway, but he is going to die here. Um, 21 coming in. One curl up will heal for three more. 
Oh, we don't actually get the healing. Toxic Egg, when we ever had a skill to like upgrade it. Not bad if we have more skills. Uh, 15 minutes to put this current station. Take draw. Eh. Another Guardian World could make it more consistent to use it, but I don't feel like we're using it currently enough to justify that. Try fish whenever you add a card. Gain nine souls. A little late for that, but it's not too bad. Hello, people. Are you going to hurt yourself on me? Not if I start out with a turn like this when I can't get in. Oh, wait, no, I can. That's the play. Hit yourself. Do, 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 do. Plenty of block. Um, can I get back? I can't get back into the defensive mode. I can hit you a bunch, though. I got plenty of block. Do I play both of these? I guess I just play Spike Protocol, honestly. Well, I can't play Guardian Wall anyway, so why does it matter? Okay, Floating Orbs. If I had, um, currently, I think Mummified Hand would be very good. Out of, like, all the cards I could get. Yes. Right. We're gonna start knocking off your plated armor. If I can. Do this. Revenge Protocol. Cost... Oh, does it cost one less yet? We need to upgrade into that. Okay. Um, orb slam, orb slam, twin slam, shiv, curl up, defend, eh, still gonna take five, which is not great before all these elites, but we can do this, this, uh, guardian whirl, and then we can hit a bunch of his stuff off here. Oh, I, I'm not... Oh, wait, he'll kill himself. I was say, I'm not taking 10 more damage if I have to, but it's fine. Mm, Place one stasis. Socket card. I don't... I, I still don't think it's quite right. Now, the question is, is there something I want to smith? Six thorns, extra street, three strength is good. I think ancient power is also really good here. Armor protocols, eight... Two artifacting, I think, is what I want to start with, though. Because the extra spikes is consistent damage we're kind of needing here. Oh, you are fine. <laughs> I was going to say you sucked with all the damage you're coming right out of the gate with, but it's actually totally fine. I think I'll also drink this to... Yeah, I'll do this. Okay. Alright, floating orbs, another armor protocol, spike tides, back into this, and then we're going to defend for two more, so we'll hold this over. And then revenge protocol, power, oh, repulsor is not the one I want. Uh, I can kill you, which is great for me, now I can, and I can start hitting the Grimlin. Alright, this, we want to do this, we want to do... Getting the piercing hides, I think, would also be really good for us. And then the shiv. Getting a guardian world this turn would be great. We did not get it. However, I can... Do I even care to curl up this turn? I think I do. Just so I don't take as much damage here. But I think I'm going to put some extra strikes on the back line. Two are pretty close to dead. Ooh, there's a lot of damage coming in here, though. Luckily, I think I'm okay. Just keep hitting him in the back. And then one more orb slam. Two more orb slams. <laughs> they do not do a lot of damage, especially if we're weak. Curious Feather, uh, whenever you play a power, gain one strength. That's That seals it. That seals what we needed. Uh, another bronze armor is really good here. That's like the card that we wanted. Or the artifact. Okay. Because, yeah, this is going to be very interesting now. Okay. There's stuff like this. I'm doing this. These now do 12 damage. Guardian World does much more than that. Right. What am I getting the five metallic size from? I don't know. 
Uh, floating orbs. Twin slam is 18. Can I get? I can get in the curl up. 14 on you. Kill you, actually. I think I still have more powers in the deck. Yep. End protocol. Ancient power now gives me a power. I need to reduce the cost of that power when it comes in. Uh, bronze armor would have been good to play here, but not too sad when I can do that. So my scaling is playing powers, which is interesting. A uh, fragment gym sign. I think uh, now I want to go this rest, right? Yeah, and then here. Because I'm going to enhance some cards. Put this into Twin Slam, I think is the right call here. Smith. Uh, more strength or... No, the cost went less. Because we're wanting to play more powers. All right. Duplicating our card in our deck. Duplicate two cards. More powers. <laughs> like floating orbs would be like super good. Or... Because some of these are when you're in defense mode. At the end of your turn while in defense mode, yep. Or another ancient power could just be really good. Actually, I'm going to just do... Random curses we won't actually get, so... Let's take floating orbs, and I get to pick one more. I could do another floating orbs. It's totally possible. But I think revenge protocol, just to like, really... Because we're going into defensive mode, plenty. Okay. Like this. Brace ten more. We're here. Okay, no benefit this turn from it. Besides getting more powers up and gaining more strength. Okay, floating orbs. This is a weird one. Ancient power. That kind of sucks for us. We got plenty of, of uh, armor. Why am I worrying? Why do I need to get in defensive mode? Besides just getting everything played out. Three artifacting this turn, too. Floating orbs. Curl up. Now we're in it. Now we have eight. So this is 20 damage here. And these are 14 now. Should defend just so we don't take too much damage here. We're going to take four. Okay. This one. This one. I can't get into defensive mode, which kind of stinks. Oh, I can't, actually. 20. Nope, I'm three off. You need to die. And then you need to also die. I should have done this first, technically. Doesn't matter. <laughs> Alright. Swift Potion doesn't matter either. Add a random attack to your hand. No. Put a random card from your draw pile in stasis. No. Another piercing. Upgraded piercing guy is pretty good, though. I really want to try to heal some here. I can play less cards. Uh, this. There's our first turn block. Bronze armor here. Gets us closer to the next one. We're taking 12 plus 6. We're not taking anything, so it does make sense. Awesome. Okay, so we, we go about half down. i do this. Do this. Okay. 30 here. We're fine. So we want to start hitting. I think the backliner kills himself here. We'll take the vulnerability on the end of the turn, so it should go down, I thought. Um, do this. Actually, I think we can end it here. Should have done it the other way around, but it worked out fine. Liquid Bronze is not necessary. Raise your decks by three, embrace ten. I mean, more decks is fine. Like, more powers are fine, too. Because the powers kind of go along with buffing us and defending us. So, I actually don't think I want to curl up this turn. Because that'll put me in defensive mode and I don't need that currently. So, I'll just take the healing. Alright. Now this turn, I could... Protocol, Bronze Armor for the Artifacting. I could Guardian Whirl. Because I'm not going to... Well, no, Orb Slam. Defend for the extra decks. Then Guardian World here. For just some, some straight up damage. Okay. Floating orbs here. I need to get down to 18 if I want to. I don't need to though. 
So I went to Ancient Power. Time Shifter sucks, but it's a opponent's strength, I guess. Get closer to the next one. We don't get... Th Actually, the two artifacting here is good. Because that'll put us really close for next turn. And I bet he's going to try to hit us this turn. He is hit, trying to hit us. Um, I need to get these Revenge Protocols out. I have a lot of powers I need to get out. So let's do this. This. Um, this. This. Next turn, I'll be really close to getting it again. Uh, we have 13 strength when in defensive mode. All right. I'm one away. Uh, I don't really... I have plenty of stuff here, though. So I'm not even going to try to get in defensive mode. I will wait till next turn. All right. Well, I think we're... I think we got this here. Ouch. I guess because they went into, the, into, into Divinity, that worked out for them. It worked out worse for them because I'm going to do this. Uh... And I think they're dead. Not dead. Interesting. Okay. 58 block here, though, is fine. Oh, they got plenty of plated armor, though. Um, I can't get in defensive mode. Doesn't, don't think it matters too much. Orb slams for the wind. Time shifter don't want. Citrine is fine. Let's add it at our next rest site. Curse of Keys, also fine. There's more. Three relics is also pretty good. We would only get, we wouldn't get the curse because of Omimori. I don't think I really need that much more energy currently. As we get more powers though, we're gonna want more. But this could give us Momified Hand. There's a chance. I'm gonna go for it. Confirm, Omimori takes it. Ninja Q, every 10 attacks you gain energy, so that helps that. Every 10 cards you play, you also uh, draw a card. And whenever you play a power here to, uh, heal too. Perfectly fine. Uh, like, there could have been worse things to get there, um, but that worked out very well. I, I don't think I could kill the merchant currently unless I really pri prioritize them. Here, here. Elite. Elite. But I only get two shops and less question marks. Three question marks. Or two and a rest. Here. Elite, shop, another shop. I think this is the one I want. I get like two elites, a bunch of rests, enhance, citrine. I think I want into some of the piercing hides. I still want the barrier out. I've never used it. Um, and I think the revenge protocols are the ones I want upgraded. It's good that all the powers that the guardian really has are like one cost. All the ones at least I have currently that work with this build. 15 here. I don't really want to take 15. Like, our first turns are pretty easy. Especially with the anchor helping. Alright, bronze armors. Uh, I really need some rupees. Would be pretty good here. Hmm. I'm going go back into defensive mode, but I don't think I have any uh, attack protocols played yet. Or revenge protocol. No. Oh, uh, no. Armor and elusive. So do I really want to play both of these? I guess so. That's fine though, because he he's not gonna hit us enough to um, to trigger that, I guess. Like the damage I need here. So I'll, I'll be easily able to go into my next defensive room for Guardian World. Oh, didn't matter. Um, Harden, must be in defensive mode. Gain 16 block and three thorns. Pretty good, we're in defensive mode a lot. Yeah. All right. Fight yourself. Upgrade all cards. Lose heart blessings. I'm assuming are yeah these. Eh. Two normalities for nine nine. I think I'll just take the rare relic. Fight myself. I'm not like too worried about it. Oh, I cannot actually get into um to what I need this turn. But next turn should be. I could actually play. I don't know if I can actually play these. I can't. So, that kind of sucks. Heal a bunch for no reason. Okay. Spike protocol. I need to do two damage to you. 
What's gonna suck is I do do a lot of attacks, and you punish for that. So, I gotta keep that in mind. Yeah, because you have thorns now. I mean, I always could just, like, let him hit me. And just keep building up my thorns and such. Get up to nine. I have 18 block. He'll do... I should hit him, though. Like, I can hit him again, too, I think. He'll be fine. Elusive protocol. Keep getting my strength up. And I can block. So, what was I worried about? Okay. Oh, we went right back into it. Piercing hide, revenge, this, uh, this here. 61, I think we can hit him now. Okay, continue around. Orb slams are just so good. Like, they're like the heart and soul for, for this deck. And they're just very good. Alright. And you're dead. <laughs> Spice. Um, I don't really need spice, but what draw one additional card each turn, so it's take spice. Um, brace 30. Exhaust. It's not bad. Run temporary thorns. Ancient good. Uh, that'll just eat through artifacting. I don't think I need it, though. Like, I think I'm bracing enough as it is. All right. Ooh, chest. Short range teleporter. Okay. Actually, very good. We could use that to... We can go actually one space ahead if we wanted to skip something. Um, but that can help us get more out of what we're doing. Destroy all gems in socketed cards. Remove a card, gain a random gem. Remove a socketed card, gain its gem. Remove a card and gain a random gem. I think this is what I want here. Like, uh, pride. Destroy all gems in a socketed card. So take out the gems if they're not helping you. Or remove a socketed card, gain its gem back if you didn't like, if you wanted to put the gems on else. I'm just going to remove Prismatic Barrier because it's terrible. And we gained an Amber. Um, <laughs> does it help us? Destroy all gems in a socket card. Add a gem to a socket. Does it, I just I don't want it either. But I guess if I add it to this, it doesn't do anything, but it also doesn't hurt anything. So. Um, I don't know. I don't know where I'm at. I think I'm here currently. So I go here. I think I just want to go here. So I could go here and it wouldn't use the teleporter. That's so weird. I could teleport to here if I didn't want to take this fight, but I don't think I care either way. We'll see if it matters. <clears throat> Floating. I want to get into defensive if I can, so I can guardian world and possibly like really hurt. Oh, I didn't get the energy. That was dumb on my part. So I can't guardian world for 20 something. That sucks so well. I'm not going to use a potion. I thought about it there, but I don't think we'll have any problems overall, so. Like, they, they probably will end up over time killing themselves. So. Um, I think we have enough, but we'll play another strike just in case. Or another defense. I don't know why I said strike. It was close, but no cigar. Alright, um, kill, I think, you, kill you, hit you, that's fine. It's weird that these two are off of sync. Because every time you play a card, or whenever you play, every time you play 10 attacks, they've changed that one. And this one's every time you play 10 cards. Interesting. Another reason that the or Orb Slams are good. None of these. Okay, so this would use nothing to go here. That's what I want. Mummified hand, whenever you play a powered, make a card in your hand cost zero. Definitely what we wanted. <laughs> okay. Go here. Spike protocol, floating orbs. Uh, elusive protocol. And just lock a bunch so we have it for next turn. Well, I'm glad I took the calling bell over the key because we definitely will not have um, energy problems now. And we're, ga we're healing incredibly quickly. Piercing hide, bronze armor, floating orbs, make something else zero, hit you specifically. I'm surprised we didn't get the, bro uh, the bronze armor upgrade. Like, I still don't think they're hitting us. And they're all dead. 
Okay. Revenge protocol. Revenge protocol. Harden. Um, do armor protocol. Twin slam you. Piercing hide. Yeah, we're, we're gaining energy, I think, faster than we're using it. Oh, you have four left? That sucks. They might actually hit me, maybe? Oh, no. She will... I don't think this one will get to go. No. The boot. Not necessary. Uh, ancient power. Just good. Just so we can play it for free. Hello, shopkeeper. Me and you need to have a tussle here, because I need to kill you in, like, one round. So I need to do 300 damage over, like, four turns. Which is gonna be hard. I'm gonna. I'm gonna admit. Um, I'm not sure that I can successfully do it. But if I can build up enough thorns, I think uh, you will die. That's my goal. Back down to this. I do want to prioritize um, getting thorns here. Uh, that didn't help. All right, 90 here. Not as much thorns as I wanted here. So we're gonna have to see if I can continually hit you. I don't know if I'll be able to. I need 11 to get down to that. I can't do that. Unfortunately, Guardian Well. Again, I could probably do this though. And probably get into it. <sighs> Still didn't. Okay. Ooh, Sparker Protocol, that'll do it. And 19 times four is a lot of damage. I still don't know if we'll be able to kill them. Um, actually, we might be able to kill them. Um, yeah, ancient power first. Not the one I wanted here. Eleven strength. I really need to get into defensive if I wasn't going to do this. Curl up here. Yeah. I don't. Oh, these might actually do it. I was so close. I can't hit them anymore. I need to get into defensive mode. And I can't do that. Well, I, we, we'll have another shot. <laughs> so, alas, we tried. But I have the portal. Leads, yeah, we're getting charges. Um, no. Hello, 500 here, it's Spice. Oh, membership card, yes. I like that. Um, Repulsor's not great. Strawberries would be okay. Is there any cards I want to remove? I think just basic strikes would be fine. Because I don't think, yeah, just make the deck more consistent. And I think I'll hold on to the rest. Nothing here excites me at all. Alright, proceed. I wish I could, so you can't skip over, but I'll definitely get the shop here. So we want to spend our money. Okay. Go into here. Hello, get into defensive, do this, do this, and we'll hit you, I guess. Uh, hit you again, and you're dead. Do that. I think next we want unceasing top, I guess, will be the next goal. Um, you're going to die here. I should have played some powers first. I don't think it'll end up mattering, but... Still, in, in like the essence of trying to... Uh, Play efficiently. 17 spikes. Oh, I def definitely don't want to play floating orbs. I'd rather just continue to... Well, I have 80. Would it end up actually mattering too much? Could I get to... I can't even get to Cardian World again. Um, you're dead, though. And you're hurt. Oh, you didn't die. I mean, you will, but... Actually, I didn't. Oh, well, I guess we have to be in... Uh, defensive mode to get all the spikes that we want. Piercing Hide, Ancient Power, Repulsor, I could play to try to play the Ancient Power. We got it. Nice hit. Make, make another thing free. Not Guardian World, because we can't end up playing it. Alright, Blessing of the Forge is fine. Fragment of Gem, do I have anything I can put that in? Because I think my uh, Twin Slam is full. Another piercing hide. I mean, it's good. The more braces we have, the better, honestly. Obtain runic icosahedron. That's fine. I definitely don't want to roll it, because if I get a natural one, it would be very bad. Floating orb, revenge protocol. Didn't hit the ancient power, but that's fine. We'll still be able to play it. 
construction form. Pretty cool. Gain buffer, and if we have buffer, gain strength. Which I think would actually be very good if we could pick it up as like a, a actual card in the deck. Piercing hide, I don't think we can get low enough. Curl up, we can. I didn't leave enough energy to play Guardian World. Should play one less piercing hide. Okay, armor protocol. Uh, we got Harden. Not the best hit. Spike protocol. Ancient power. Harden now for more. Um, repulsor for reasons I can't tell you. Hit you and gain healing. <clears throat> you know, our 122 block. It's fine. We haven't even played all the floating orbs yet. Uh, can't play Guardian World. Uh, hit you, hit you, hit you. If I had a way to get buffer, or if I had calipers would be really good here too. Uh, I don't think I can get down to it if I wanted to. We're gonna try, but no, it's not. All right, uh, Sphere of Distance, add vulnerability to enemies. Not bad. Exploit Gem, would be good, not for what we're doing currently. All right, Smith, one more card. I guess it's still Revenge Protocol. Like, just more strength is just good. We've kind of, this run kind of was not great, but the relics really assisted. Actually, I don't know we can have a turn that was like this bad. Oh, Ancient Power. Repulsor's not what I want. Interesting. We will be in the correct mindset to have Thorns this time though, because Spiker Protocol, do that. Um, evasion pro protocol, ancient power, that, hit him, hit him, I mean he's dead, so, all the souls we could want, which is 330, not too bad, none of these are powers and none of these are things I want, so, uh, body slam would be good, deal damage equal to your block, I'll actually take one copy of it, right, I hope the relics are good here, spice, Ooh, another Spiker Protocol is actually really good. I'll take that. And then choose two cards whenever you draw one of these, draw the other. I don't know what I would use it for. Let's remove a basic strike. Hmm. I don't, I don't think. Can I use this to remove, is the removal of spikes debuff whenever you play a power attack and skill on the same turn. I don't have a lot of attacks, but we'll try it. Could be interesting. I might as well take this, choose two cards. I, I should take spice too, right? Whenever you draw one, draw the other. Just do two floating orbs. It's good. Mm, I think that's everything I could buy currently that I would want. All right, one more fight. Because, yeah, I, th I might be able to do temporary thorns. I might be able to remove the temporary part. Yeah. So to do this, I need power, attack, and skill on the same turn. So I did skill, power. I don't have no attacks yet, though. So I can't use it yet, currently, but... I think I could try to pull, pull that off pretty frequently. Okay, so skill, power, attack. Yep, and I get to keep the thorns. <laughs> this it, it just works out for this, like, this was one of those runs that just worked. Okay. Hmm. I lost the defensive mode because of that. Like the ability to go into it, I guess. Like, the brace is considered a debuff, I guess. Because, yeah, I'm not... Oh, I... no, I still entered it. Did it just move? No, it's right there. Oh, the mode shift. I don't know why I was missing that for a second. All right, so... Oh, I don't have enough. Oh, I do have enough. So it'd be... Do I have any temporary? No, I don't have any... I have temporary decks, right? Oh, gosh. So many things here. I don't have temporary decks. Anyway, I don't know if I, it matters currently. 
Like, I can just play through everything. Or block is actually pretty good. I haven't even seen that currently. 1 HP here. I need to watch that a little bit more next time. Spike protocol, totally fine. Hello, Silent. Oh, you're doing poison. Oh, okay. Warning. High, highly toxic. If you have poison resistant to silent poison effect. Oh, you have poison poison resistant to silent effects. Interesting. Um, poison resistance trigger at the end of your turn. Uh, spend all remaining energy to remove ten poison. So this is the one we lost to last time. So you kind of want to keep energy to remove poison at the end of the turn. I think that's going to be easy enough for us. Um, we have that, that. Um, we're not taking any damage. Might as well play all the cards though. To enter defensive mode. I don't think they're hitting us though. So we really want to make sure we do this correctly. Oh, they do like neutralize and stuff. Okay, revenge protocol. And we actually gain energy when we play attacks with uh, Numjaku. I could Guardian Royal here for once. Oh, we oh we removed the the uh, the debuff with the orange pellet. So we definitely should Guardian Royal. Gained an additional energy. All right, uh, bronze armor. We'll play that too. Okay. Lose the 87 block there. It's totally fine. Sparker protocol, ancient power. Yep. Oh, we're not into uh, defensive mode. I don't think it ends up mattering quite a lot here. It's just the. Uh, oh, we will get into defensive mode. Uh, we could have used the. Uh, the body slam a little bit better. That's fine. All right. Attack, skill, power, skill, skill. And we have artifacting, so he was, yeah, that went way better. And I think we perfected it. Something evil, 5,000 souls back to the heart. Not too bad. Also, we have all the keys this time, so we are going to Go to Meow, the final act. Uh, I think we get one, we have to fight one more, one elite. I brought him back, which is the shopkeep. All right, which he does different things now. Not too worried about it. Ancient power, cursor, spike protocol, spike protocol, curl up, hide, body slam. Not too bad. But I think he just plays actual like shop cards now. He doesn't do the coin thing like you would normally. I need to remember to play the uh, powers in the order of as they go zero. Harden and Orb Slam. Ooh, Tungsten Rod's gonna be. Eh, actually, it's not too bad. I thought it'd be bad, but I don't think it will be. Let's get back into defensive mode if we can. I don't know if we're able to. Uh, down to eight, we won't be able to this turn. Okay, sh unless we can draw some cards. We did, bronze armor. And I think you are going to be close to dead. Oh, but yeah, the tungsten rod does reduce each one of them. All right. Piercing high. Ancient power, revenge protocol. Okay. All right. Uh, I want to play another bronze armor, I guess. Right. Well, he's only doing eleven. I could get more thorns, but I think the artifacting is nicer overall. I could do both of them anyway. Cause yeah, he keeps trying to debuff us, but not able to. I don't know if we'll be able to get a lot of. Oh, it didn't matter. I was gonna say a lot of block to use um, body slam, but. Doesn't matter, bag of prep's good. Armor protocol is totally fine. Hello, shop. How are you doing? Uh, another spice could be good. Anything else I'm interested in? I think just removing the, the, that basic strikeout. Colorless cards, no. Uh, retain your hand, no. I think just another spice. Just to have it. 
I feel like we get tons of spice, but I guess the spike protocol just to have more thorns. Either way. Hello, Niao. Oh, you put a bunch of nonsense into our deck. Arise, Ironclad. All right, so I think we have to go through all and fight all these guys again. So this is going to be an interesting one. Aged. Out of void. That's okay. Already curled up. Let's do this to zero. Get to defend because we'll have it next turn. Why don't you hit me, man? Thank you. Oh, he heals him back. Interesting. Floating orbs. Haunted. Wind drilled. Add ethereal to all cards in your hands. So I definitely want to play all these out. Good thing I can. And then body slam for 77. Not bad. Haunted's gone. And the void's gone. Good turns to draw. Alright. Uh, I just want to... I want to kill you first. The only attack... Uh... Let's use the orb slam here. Okay. Do I get nothing else to do? Okay. Might as well get everything out. <laughs> Floating orbs. We'll just gain all of our stuff. Because I can't hit Meow. Yep. End the turn, I guess. Fight once more. So here is the Watcher. And yep, we enter defensive mode, which is awesome for the Guardian World. Get this out of here. I don't want to deal with that. Oh, these all got... Befuddled. However, all I did was make the orb slams really bad. Guardian World here. Should have probably done the orb slams first. I would have had a little bit more damage on them. Not gonna matter here. Ooh, gave us Frail. Kinda nasty. Bill Wilder. Don't want this. Get it out of here. We have so many orb slams in our hand. I think I can just kill her outright. I can't. Uh, then we'll ancient power constructor form is great to have in the deck, but I can't play it because it got exhausted. Unfortunate. Silent. I'm also not worried about warning. Highly toxic. That's totally fine here though. Do these two hit you just a, just a lot? Now the problem with this is the longer these fights go, the worse they are for me specifically. Um, for this character, because the way I built the deck is all based around. The additional powers I have um, to put me into defensive mode. Like, I can't really get there now. So I'm losing a lot of my advantage because of that. You're hitting me. I don't want to take four. Oh, we did get into it. Uh, the poison's going to hurt us, though. We're going to lose. I definitely actually just don't want to play any of these. Also, why did I drink these? Go ahead and do that. Drink that. I think you're done. I just don't know if I have to fight uh, Niao at the end of this. No, you just had to kill them with the, those three. Sweet, and I think we did that. We perfect. Oh nope, you still have to do him. <laughs> but it, it starts the fight over, which works out actually in our favor a lot. He heal. Okay, let's read all these. Got like, heal two days whenever you play a card. Adds a random status to our disco power every turn. Loses 150 more HP. He will uh, he will be stopped from gaining 10 strength. Uh, the next turn she used the buffed. Uh, plays 10 poison to you per turn. You have poison resistance. Okay. Uh, can only lose 300 more HP this turn. Okay. Cool. Nice enough. So we can't just dunk on them. Gain all this HP as much as you would like. Piercing hide, that's fine. I think I'd want it for next turn. Might as well keep continuously play cards and just continue to stack up all my stuff. Oh, gross. Okay, I need to watch those when I draw them. Mm, okay. He's gonna heal, so I wanna do this in the right order. Into power, okay, here we go. Ooh, orb walk, very good. More strength. He is hitting us for a bunch, so let's gain that. Oh, that sucks. Should have done that differently. Um, I'll just let this stack up. Hit me if you'd like to. Let's damage back to you. Oh, aged and haunted. All cards gain ethereal. 
I think that's fine though. Hide, orb slam, orb slam, body slam. Actually, the thing that's going to get ethereal is the aged. It already had ethereal though. So we have a void in our deck. But we'll lose all the poison if we can do it correctly this turn. Revenge protocol, hit Bronze Armor, which was the one we wanted. We only have one energy left, and he's doing 10, so we really don't want to play any more cards this turn. Yeah, because we're not going to gain anymore. He's not hitting us, but let's go ahead and weaken him. Uh, okay. I should use Blessing of the Forge at some point, too. Because I've, I've neglected that one. Yeah, okay. Uh, I didn't get the muddled one. Yeah, so Revenge Protocol, Armor Protocol, Spike Protocol, two energy left, and we can continuously hit him. I think we can do this. Uh, curl up for more. Yeah, that's fine. And we did it. <laughs> Beat Niao, uh, first time actually, and perfected it. <laughs> so let's see these nice little end cards here. And all the heroes are done. It did take a while. Um, and again, we had to lose one round to come in. It's like the warm up round. New Guardian card, Beta Art unlocked. And then we got 15, 79, and some unlocks here. Uh, Stasis Engine, whenever you play the third zero cost card in a single turn, gain one energy and draw a card. Nice. Future plans. Turn plays one card in Stasis. Nice. And then choose one of three packages to add into your hand. An Orb Walk, Walker Claw. Okay. These are kind of cool. They're based off the enemies and give you different things. I like it. That was a fun one. Uh, again, uh, the orb slams are just super good. Like multi-hit cards for zero. Um, you, we had so much access to strength. But really, the relics like picked up. I think started from the Curious Feather, and then it was just like fire. Like we had the, the Nunchaku and Ink Bottle for all the zero cost we played. Birdface Iron just worked with the powers. And then Mummify Hand just like rounded it out. Like everything else past that was just kind of bonus. Um, but that's going to be it for this episode, guys. I hope you did enjoy. If you did, you can hit the like button or subscribe if you want to see more. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.